Hi everyone, I'm Anna and today we'll talk about libraries. In Scandinavia, library is a place for research and teaching. When libraries worldwide are facing budget cuts and loss of popularity, Scandinavian libraries are bucking the trend. On December 5, 2018, a state-of-the-art library opened in the capital city of Finland named Helsinki Central Library Odi. It amazed the world more than any other library in Scandinavia. The Guardian, a British newspaper, reports that the reason why libraries in Finland are still popular is because 84% of the population is urban and given the often harsh climate, libraries are not simply places to study, read or borrow books, they are important places for socializing. In fact, Antti Nuus Joki, one of Odi's architects, has described the new library as an indoor town square, a far cry from the stereotypical view of libraries as stale and silent spaces. Odi has been designed to give citizens and visitors a free space to actively do what they want to do, not just be a consumer or a flaneur. On the main page of their website, it says that Helsinki Central Library Odi is a living meeting place at Kanselei Story Square, right at the heart of Helsinki. Odi will provide its users with knowledge, new skills and stories, and will be an easy place to access for learning, story immersion, work and relaxation. It is a library of a new era, a living and functional meeting place open for all. On the ground floor, there is a movie theater, Kino Regina, that brings cinematic treats to Odi. In addition to the classics, Kino Regina also shows modern films, as well as art films and alternative films. The 204 square meter Mayan Sally Hall on the first floor is designed for conferences, lectures or private events. It fits between 140 and 180 people. Thanks to the adjustable walls, you can arrange both smaller private events and larger public events. Space is unobstructed. Around this time in 2019, the following services and facilities are available for use on the second floor of Odi. 3D printers, UV printer, large format printer, vinyl laser cutter, sewing machines, overlocker, cover stitch machine, sewing machine for embroidery, badge machines, and gaming services. There is also a plan to construct a sauna in the future. The book heaven is located on the third floor and is a reader's paradise with a wide selection of books in nearly 20 languages. Visitors can relax on the sofas, under the trees, reading books and magazines, or playing board games with friends. In Book Heaven, you will also find a rainbow shelf, which offers fiction, fact, comics, and films concerning sexual and gender minorities. There is also a restaurant named Phaser Food & Co. that offers delicious food from morning till evening, seven days a week. It offers catering services for meetings and events in Odi as well. Organic soy and spinach lasagna, pureed sweet potato soup, roasted potatoes, grilled pork steak or herb butter a la Amica are all on their menu as of May 10, 2019. In addition to hot and cold drinks, you can also buy Odi cake and Odi's large cinnamon bun. During its first two opening days in December 2018, according to the press release, Odi attracted some 55,000 visitors. And Odi has also received much attention from the international and Finnish media. The New York Times article about the library was on the front page of their international edition. I don't know about you, but I certainly want to visit this library. You can do so many amazing things there. Who would have known that a library can be so fun and exciting? I'm your host, Anna, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Stay tuned for more videos on Funday website.